I was sent this vehicle reversing system to test it out, see how well it works and get my honest opinion on it. So let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box and get it installed. All right, so this is the camera system out of the box. Very nice monitor. It's got buttons on the bottom of the monitor. It's got the wireless antenna mount on the back. Comes with a couple different types of mounts if you wanna mount it in the vehicle or maybe on your windshield. It also comes with the mounts for the camera system itself. This goes on the back of your vehicle, your trailer, your RV, whatever it's gonna be. As you can see from the manual here, it's kind of focused toward RVs and that's exactly what I plan on installing this on is the back of our RV. This camera here is not fixed. You can actually move it. It does click and it's kind of hard to move, but it's meant to be stiff enough so that way once you set it, it doesn't throw itself off when you're driving down the road. But you can adjust the camera so you can set it to the angle that you want to be able to see everything behind you. It comes with a 12 volt accessory plug so that way you can plug this in your vehicle to power the monitor. It comes with a USB-C to regular USB-A cord and it comes with a power cord that is to run power to the camera that's mounted on the back of either your trailer or RV, wherever you're mounting it. And of course, you know, it's got the manual. These are the antennas that you attach to the monitor and the camera, so that way they can work wirelessly. It is a wireless system. There's a lot of features to this that the manual will go over. This monitor is supposed to have DVR capability, so you should be able to record you know, what's going on around you. So that way, if you ever need to go back and look at it, but enough talking about what's in the box, let's go ahead and get this thing installed so we can talk about how we're using it. So my RV is a 2014. It did not have a camera prep package on it. So I had to do it all myself manually, but I was able to go ahead and just punch a little hole underneath the light, run the wires up to the lights up there, and I wired it into my running lights. So for me, that's fine because when I'm pulling the RV, I have my lights on anyway. So it powers the camera fine. I was able to go inside the truck and check the camera and everything is working great. I didn't have to do anything. It just started working right out of the box. So now that it's got power and I've got the antenna on it, and I've got it mounted to the back of the RV. Now I can go work on the mounting inside of my truck. So let's go check that out. All right, so this is the camera system that's in the truck. What I wanted to show you is just how clear this camera is. I mean, I've got it pointed kind of low, mainly because I can see around the trailer pretty decent with my tow mirrors, but what I can't see is what's right behind me. So for me, this is great for a backup camera or if there is a car back there, my blind spot. I mean, this is gonna be perfect. I really like it. I really like the clarity. I mean, two thumbs up for me. The signal is nice and strong. It doesn't skip or I've walked around it, have my wife check it as I'm walking. And I mean, it's just fast. There's no lag. It's been a really cool system. There are buttons, of course, on the top that let you go through the different options. And there's many different options that you can go through. Please read the manual to go through all of that. It'll be too long to go through all the options it has on this video, but I definitely recommend checking this out. If you need a backup camera, or a rear view camera for your RV. I don't see how you can go wrong with this system. It's been very nice. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, if you'd give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, if you would do that, that really helps us out. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.